हेलो व्यूअर्स आर मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार पाल स्टैंड बिफोर यू ऑन द टॉपिक इकलेटेरिज्म इट्स मीनिंग एंड टाइप्स इन द सेकेंड सेमिस्टर ऑफ प्लस थ्री लेवल इन द पेपर नंबर थ्री हुई इज पॉलिटिकल थ्योरी कॉन्सेप्ट एंड डिबेट्स इन दिस पेपर देर इज ए टॉपिक नोन एज इगलटर्निज्म इट्स मीनिंग एंड टाइप्स एंड दिस वीडियो रिलेट्स विथ द मीनिंग ऑफ इगलटर्निज्म इट्स प्रिंसिपल्स एंड नाइन कैटेगरीज ऑफ इगलटर्निज्म आई रिक्वेस्ट माई व्यूअर्स टू वॉच दिस वीडियो अटेंटिवली एंड in course of watching prepare your notes so that the problem of notes will not be for you and i want to inform my viewers that in my channel plus 3 first semester second semester third semester and fourth semester notes are available any notes you want maybe odia or english just write my name and the name of the topic would your english version you will obtain the notes from youtube let us start what is egalitarianism so far as egalitarianism is concerned we will discuss mainly what is the meaning of egalitarianism and what are the types or category of categories of egalitarianism so first of all talk of what is egalitarianism in the subject political science no doubt many ideologies are found but some ideologies are losing its popularity and some ideologies are gaining its popularity and among the ideologies those who are gaining their popularity egalitarianism is one day by day the popularity of egalitarianism is increasing and this egalitarianism has been originated in the later part of 18th century and john locke was considered as the father of egalitarianism so what is egalitarianism the word egalitarianism has been derived from the french word egal means equality so egalitarianism means in the society among people there must be equality so egalitarianism means in the society all the people will be treated as equal irrespective of their caste color religion language and heredity all people must be treated equally is irrespective of caste color religion language and nobody will be given special treatment if anybody will be given special treatment it will be against egalitarianism so egalitarianism is an ideology which what is out that human beings will be treated as equal nobody will be favored nobody will be disfavored nobody will be given special treatment it is egalitarianism that is why oxford oxford dictionary of politics has said egalitarianism is an ideology which aimed at increasing equality and in defense of value of equality oxford dictionary of politics said that egalitarianism an ideology which aimed at promoting which aimed at increasing equality and in defense of value of equality so oxford dictionary of politics said 
egalitarianism is an ideology which aimed at increasing equality and it says that equality has its own value so according to oxford english dictionary oxford dictionary of politics egalitarianism is an ideology which speaks in favor of equality another definition andrew haywood haywood he said egalitarianism is a theory and practice to promote equality and believe or believe that equality is a primary political value according to andrew haywood equality egalitarianism is an ideology which promotes equality and or believe that equality is a primary political value so according to andrew haywood egalitarianism is an ideology which promotes equality or believe that equality is a primary value so andrew haywood said that egalitarianism is an ideology which speaks for equality and it also speaks that equality has a primary value or equality is important so egalitarianism is an ideology which speaks that all people must be considered as equal no special treatment will be given to anybody all will be considered as equal irrespective of caste color religion language so we are clear about the meaning of egalitarianism now we'll discuss there are main five principles of egalitarianism there are five pillars of egalitarianism the first pillar of egalitarianism is that equal treatment by law in egalitarianism there will be equal treatment by law law will treat all equally he may be a prime minister or a constable he may be a manager or pm law will treat all equally there will be equal treatment by law number 2 equal opportunity to all in egalitarianism all the people will be given equal opportunities to excel all will be given equal facilities to prosper at the time of giving opportunities there will not be any favoritism number 3 equal protection by law in egalitarianism there will be equal protection of law law will protect all law will make no discrimination at the time of protection point 4 treatment in trust in principle men are created equal in the principle of egalitarianism is that egalitarianism trust in the principle people are created equal all people are equal and the fifth important principle of egalitarianism is that if there will be any disequalities if there will be any inequalities in civil political cultural and economic level it will be eliminated by well directed actions policies laws and efforts of state and people and their organization the fifth principle of egalitarianism is that if there will be any inequality if there will be any inequalities in in civil political cultural and economic level it will be eliminated by the well directed laws efforts actions of state and people and their organization if there will be any inequalities in the society it will be eliminated by state and people with their organization so we are clear what is egalitarianism when it has been originated who was the father what is egalitarianism is from which word it has come what are the main principles of egalitarianism then we'll discuss types of egalitarianism egalitarianism has many categories in this video we will discuss nine categories of egalitarianism the first category of egalitarianism is economic egalitarianism economic egalitarianism is otherwise known as the material egalitarianism 
इकोनॉमिक इगलटर्निज्म ही तो अगर वाइज नो नहीं था मेटेरियल इगलटर्निज्म इकोनॉमिक इगलटर्निज्म और मेटेरियल इगलटर्निज्म मींस ऑल द पीपल विल बी गिवन फ्रीडम टू परफॉर्म एनी वर्क और टू कैरी ऑन एनी वर्क टू यर्न देयर लाइवलीहुड इकोनॉमिक और मेटेरियल इगलटर्निज्म मींस all the people of the society will be given freedom to work anywhere to earn their livelihood like food cloth and shelter nobody will be forced to carry on a particular work people will be given full freedom to perform any type of work it must be legal to earn their livelihood this is what economic or material Egalitarianism. Number two, moral egalitarianism. Moral egalitarianism means all people must be treated equally. All people must be given equal status and prestige. All people are equal. They are all human beings. They must be given equal respect and status. They must be considered as human beings. Okay, viewers. Number three, distributive egalitarianism or lock egalitarianism. Distributive egalitarianism or lock lock egalitarianism means whenever people will be given justices, there must not be any discrimination. Whenever people will be given justices, there must not be any disparity. Any person who will who will commit any mistake he will be punished if a rich person will commit any mistake he will not be given excuse so distributive egalitarianism means whenever justice will be given there will not be any discrimination everybody will be treated accordingly he may be a rich he may be a poor number 4 christian egalitarianism Christian egalitarianism. Christian egalitarianism speaks that before God or Jesus, all the people are equal. Nobody is superior, nobody is inferior. Even male and female are equal, and both male and female will be given equal chance to lead the church. Number five, racial egalitarianism. Racial egalitarianism means it speaks all races are equal. No race is superior. No race is inferior. All races are equal. So, among races, there must not be any discrimination. Number six, legal egalitarianism. Legal egalitarianism means before law, all are equal. He may be a prime minister. he may be a constable he may be a manager he may be pm before law all are equal law will treat all alike then political egalitarianism political egalitarianism means whenever people will be given political opportunities and privileges there must not be any discrimination whenever people will be given political opportunities facilities scopes there must not be any discrimination For example, in India, those who have completed the age of 18 years are entitled to give vote. He may be of any caste, color, religion, or language. He is entitled to give vote. He, if he has completed the age of 18 years, it is political egalitarianism. Then, gender egalitarianism. Gender egalitarianism means both male and female are equal. Females are not inferior. Males are not. superior both males and females are equal they will be treated equally finally opportunity egalitarianism opportunity egalitarianism means whenever people will be given different type of opportunities they should be given equally nobody will be given more opportunity and nobody will be given a less opportunity 
whenever people will be given opportunities there must not be any discrimination or disparity so viewers in this important video which relates with meaning of egalitarianism and ties of egalitarianism which is found in paper 3 of second semester i think it will be very much helpful to viewers i request my viewers again watch this video subscribe my channel and also request your friends to subscribe the same so students will be benefited because help to all is a human quality thank you viewers again we will be here with another video till now goodbye to all